Hello lads, I'm yet again checking in from epic autumn forest of wisdom and uh, you might think that the title of the video is a bit blackpilling, it's a bit negative but as you might notice on my demeanor I'm in a good mood because things are going well after all and that's the point of my video here as well so so even though the tyrants at YouTube have cut my YouTube journey short I am still in a good mood now what I'm talking about is of course that I've been demonetized and shadow banned for um, one and a half years the demonetization and almost two years being shadow banned um, and of course if I'm talking about my dream then that is to continue to grow YouTube etc to reach ever new heights and um, for any other youtuber watching this you know how extremely awesome it is to just keep growing your YouTube channel seeing the amount of subscribers increasing seeing the amount of views you know you like making videos I still like making videos by the way but the charm with YouTube is also that you can see the growth of it and if someone cuts that short it's not quite the same and um, of course I'm hardly the only one who's been shadow banned even PewDiePie uh, was shadow banned um, uh, for a little while there um, so that's my dream then that got cut short uh, of course you can still see this so I'm still on YouTube obviously but it's not quite the same and if we're talking about shadow banning it's not black and white it's a lot of different algorithms that they can tweak to make you either grow or to not make you grow so to take an example the recommended list you get on the side of a video that's huge it's hugely important to uh, to be on there but I'm not gonna lament this I will instead use this as an opportunity to talk a bit about how I have dealt with it so a while back I said to myself you know what unless I back down on what I have said politically which I won't because I have no regrets I've said absolutely nothing wrong I've said absolutely nothing hateful or harmful I've said nothing that I can't back up I have no regrets for standing on the side of Europe's native population I still do and uh, I will continue to do so no matter what happens because it is the right thing to do no matter if YouTube wants to shadow ban me or not or demonetize me it's um, it doesn't change anything I'm crossing a bridge here so that's why my I'm balancing here um, now there we are so anyway that is my perspective so if you wonder oh what sort of dream of mine has been broken well it's not really broken since I'm still here but if I hadn't been shadow banned I probably would have reached more subscribers but a while ago I decided you know what if I put in a lot of work here it won't really lead to much more because of this these circumstances so instead I switched focus and started working more started spending more time with another passion of mine which is the clothing company I've always had an interest in clothing and more specifically in style and aesthetics and that also as I said in my telegram channel a while back it feels more real it feels more real to have a company that actually has production in Europe creating high quality clothing now of course it's a small company still but it's at least something that it feels more real than just being on YouTube now of course working metapolitically on YouTube it is important it's an important message to spread but it's also not quite the same as having a company and as I also mentioned on uh, the telegram channel you know people don't like a politician or an aspiring politician who has never run a business or who has never worked a, uh, a normal job so for me if I want to enact regime change which is of course the grand goal of all to get rid of the corrupt Swedish regime yes then it's much better for me to actually have a good track record of a well-run business than it is to just have been on YouTube so in the grand scheme of things being having my YouTube journey cut short actually been a blessing in disguise because it made me realize okay I need to focus on other things than just vi making videos 
Now, of course, I will continue making videos for as long as possible, uh, but it was a good call of me. So now I actually spend much more time building the clothing and the supplements and also writing books. So I've promoted Dauntless quite a bit since I released it last year. And now, as I said in a recent video, it's been released in German as well. And if I get Dauntless out, sell as many copies as possible in physical copies, then it doesn't matter if I'm shadow banned on YouTube. So that's another goal. Instead of reaching 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, yeah, if I can get 50,000 Dauntless copies out in uh, out in the world yeah that's a much greater victory and it's something that it is not as dependent upon the goodwill of the individuals at YouTube although I have a little shout out to certain people on YouTube I really really appreciated you sending me the, um, the silver play button it was um, it was a decent thing to do and I, I respect and um, and like you for it so thank you again but then if someone on YouTube actually sees this, I would much appreciate exactly, if you could say exactly when and where I've said something hateful, hateful or harmful, because as far as I remember, I haven't said it even once. I've only ever had a good and respectful tone towards everyone. So anyway, that is my individual perspective on, on how to deal with broken dreams. And again, I will still be on YouTube. I still like making videos, sometimes even love making videos, especially the training videos, just making cool shots, uh, going over the top, ultimate testosterone and glory sometimes, but it's it's good, it's good fun. It's stuff I like myself to watch um, in, in videos, so, so yeah, no worries on that account. But for you, the takeaway point is that there might come a time when you have to say to yourself, should I continue along this path I've taken? Or is it time for me to switch focus on something that will be better in the long run? Of course, I've said this before, I'll say it again, you should never give up on anything. But you should also be realistic about your goals. Can you achieve a certain goal? If you can't, yeah, then it might be a good idea to reevaluate the situation and say, you know what, this was completely unrealistic, I will not go through with it. But if you have a realistic goal, such as completing a military service or reaching a strength goal in the gym or finishing an education, yeah, of course, then never give up. But if you are in a situation where you have in a moment of of hubris you have said to yourself i will achieve all of these things and realistically speaking you maybe have good friends who will tell you this that you aren't up to par for whatever reason maybe you you need more time or maybe you don't have the correct personality traits to do something yeah then it might be a good idea to be humble be realistic and say this wasn't a good idea let me focus on something else so you don't waste a lot of time doing something that won't lead to anywhere now second point is if you have a broken dream and it's already broken and you understand that okay this won't lead this won't lead anywhere this dream has been yeah it's not going anywhere then you have two choices either you lament the facts and say like oh if I hadn't been shadow banned on YouTube, I would have been so great and everything in my life would be perfect. And if only those individuals hadn't been mean to me, uh, then things would be great. And you continue to lament it and you don't want to do anything else because you're still preoccupied in your mind with only thinking about that one goal you had, that one dream. That's a bad option. The good, stoic, the glorious pill option is of course to say, Okay, yeah, that's that's hurtful. It's not nice when a dream breaks, but I will not let it completely break me. Instead, I will focus on something else. And instead of wasting time and energy getting into a negative spiral of negative emotion and energy, you say to yourself, okay, cool, let me focus on something else. Let me not waste a single day being bitter or angry. It is what it is. Focus on something else. 
And of course, if you see where things are headed, maybe you, for whatever reason, you understand that your initial dream, it won't take you to where you want to go. Yeah, it's no shame in understanding that, refocusing your energies. And the sooner you do it, the further along the way, along the path of the new endeavor you will go. So this can be applied into anything really. So the main point is don't dwell upon these things too much. If there's nothing you can do about it. For me, sure I can do something about it, but that would break my gravitas, my respect for myself. The greater dream, which is of course regime change. So I can't say, oh, you know, I regretted myself because that would be to betray myself and to betray my greater dream. So, somet so sometimes you have no, you can't do anything about it at all. Then, yeah, don't worry about it. Sometimes you have an option, but that option would mean that you, you know, compromise something else. Yeah, same thing there. Then you can't really do anything about it anyway. So don't worry about it. Don't waste time. Um, so anyway, it might seem like obvious knowledge, perhaps not the deepest philosophical video ever made, but I thought to mention it at least. And um, again, you know, yeah, I might not grow so much on YouTube now, but again, in half a year, they might remove all shadow ban things and just I will have access to a great kitchen. The one I have now is not really good, it's not really suited for filming, but maybe it happens. Maybe I get gain access to a nice kitchen, I start making Gain's Kitchen videos two times a week and just explode on YouTube. Who knows, it's not something I count upon and if it doesn't happen I'm not gonna be bitter, I'm not gonna lament my, my poor lot in life that YouTube has, uh, the guys at YouTube have um, put me through, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm not sad now, as you can see, I'm, I'm quite happy with, uh, with everything. I'm, I'm having a lot of good things going for me. But if it happens, I will be ready. I have the loyal subscriber base, I have all the camera equipment, etc. So if it's an opening presents itself, yeah, I'm going full steam ahead. If it doesn't happen, yeah, I'm going full steam ahead with other things, such as continuing to develop aesthetic clothing, coffee, next project. Gourmet coffee, even. It will be absolutely glorious, if anything. So, anyway, I have rambled on enough. Main point, approach it in a stoic manner and don't let it get you down. So, anyway, check out all the links in the description box below. And if you haven't read Dauntless, you have to do it. Thank you for watching. XOXO. Boom.